Welcome to Watercolor by Scarlet Demon. Today we're talking about stippling. Stippling is the opposite of, of cross hatching or hatching. Hatching is making straight lines, whereas stippling is making small dots. This is not spattering. And I want to emphasize that because spattering is a completely different thing where you take a brush, put it into the paint and flick it or uh, there's all kinds of different things and we're going to go into that in more detail in a different tutorial. So I've just quickly gone ahead and done an outline of a little castle over here and I'm simply doing one single dot after another. If you can, go online and look up pointillism and check out some of the some of the masters that used to do this because it's really, really inspiring. Huge paintings done in nothing but tiny little dots and the amount of time and attention that would have taken to do all those dots, not to mention the arthritis that they would end up with in their hands. So in this piece, for example, which I did a few months ago, this is a monochromatic study of, of the road that leads up to my home. Um, and while this might be more of a, a brush, kind of throwing the paint and dragging the paint with the brush, the dots in the trees could have been done very easily with stippling, just throwing in little dots. I used to do this a lot. I used to paint, uh, back in school, I used to paint things like, like candles. And once you get a feel for it, it really, it doesn't take so long. You start to jump and skip across the page. A candle is a very, very simple example. It's just a cylinder. And then I would give it some kind of holder. And then for example, a little flame on top. Now you can definitely stipple with multiple colors. You can stipple onto itself, layering the colors when they're wet on wet, or you can wait until it dries. You can shade stippling by stippling tighter in certain areas or get more of a shadow, leaving it um, very open like this will give you that feeling of a highlight, perhaps there's a highlight bouncing off the floor or the table. And if we wanted to stipple a table, that would be as simple as just drawing a few dots to suggest it here. So it really makes a very unique look. Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett. I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Have a great day. Toodaloo!